this is lab. I already forgot what lab it is. Hang on, I'll tell you. Lab 24. It's not actually due until um, for a week, but anyway. All right, so this one is on bond and note transactions. And this is where we actually are borrowing the money and doing the entries for that. All right, transaction one. Assuming it's December 31st, 2019, and you have an outstanding note payable to Fake Bank of Kingsville from when you started Monopoly Corp. The note was originated on July 1st, 2019. The note has a principal balance of 15000 and an annual interest rate of 6%. You can assume the note is current and all appropriate payments have been made so far. Journalize the adjusting entry for six months of interest accrued but not paid. So the only thing you need to do is accrue interest expense, and that's it. So this is transaction one. So 1231, 2019, and it's an adjusting entry, right? That's what we're doing. So we need to accrue interest expense. So it's interest expense and interest payable. And it's going to be the face amount of the note for 15,000 times the 6%. And then it's six months have gone by. So six out of 12. Four hundred and fifty dollars. All right, trans action two. All right, it's December thirty first of twenty nineteen. You decide to pay off the loan to Fake Bank of Kingsville for a property you bought three months ago. The loan amount is twenty five thousand. So far, you've not paid or accrued anything on this loan. Calculate the interest. Assume three full months of interest at 4% interest rate, and then journalize the transaction to pay that interest and to pay off the principal of the loan in full. Okay, so it's the end of the year, and I'm going to pay off the $25,000 loan that I borrowed three months ago. So it'll be December, November, October. So I'm going to say on October 1st, I had this entry, all right? I got cash. And I had no payable for $25,000. All right, this is when money was borrowed. All right, now it's December 31st, and I'm going to pay this off. I'm going to pay that $25,000 back, and I have to pay it back with interest. It was 4% interest. All right, so when I'm paying it back, the note payable has to come off. And it comes off at the amount I owe, the face value of $25,000. All right, I have to pay them some interest expense. And then I'm going to pay it with cash. All right, so the interest expense is going to be the $25,000 principal amount times the 4% rate. And three months have gone by, so three out of 12 months have gone by. And then add those two up, and that's how much cash I have to give them. All right, transaction three. It's January 1st of 2020, and you decide to build a giant hotel complex on one of your properties. You decide to issue some 10-year bonds and use cash to build a hotel. You issue 100 bonds with a face value of $1,000 each, right? They each have a face value of $1,000. 
The 10-year bonds are issued at face value and have an interest rate of 4% per year. Record the journal entry for the January 1st bond issuance. All right, so it's just on the day that I issue the bonds. So I'm going to get cash, and I'm going to have bond payable. And it's just going to be the $1,000 the thousand bonds. And I issued 100 of them. That is it for that one. All right, and then transaction four. It's June 3rd, 2020, and you pay six months interest to bondholders. Journalize that transaction. So I'm paying six months of interest to these guys up here. All right, so it's now June 30th. I'm going to have interest expense. And cash is going to go out the door. And it's going to be the $100 million in bonds times the interest rate of 4% times 6 over 12. It's half a year has gone by. You can always also just do times one half. So $100 million. times 4% times 6 over 12. All right? Let me do it this way. 100 million times 4, or times 0 0.02. Yep, that was right. So 100 million times 0 0.04 times 6 divided by 12. And that is it for Lab 24.